Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex. And the topic for this video is, this video is uh, seven ways to self-pleasure without genital touch. Again, as I said in a previous video, the topic of self-pleasure is really taboo in our society. And the idea of touching yourself, even massaging yourself in a soft way, might feel slightly uncomfortable to some people. And the idea is really to reclaim the relationship that you have with your own body and your own sensations. You know, it's like, for instance, if I touch my, my nipple, right now there is a bunch of sensations that are coming through my body. And so what's, what's wrong with that? The same if I touch my, my genitals, there is going to be an exploration of a part of my body that I personally love I love my genitals. I love every aspect of my body. So why not take the time to nurture those parts rather than putting a whole lot of shame and guilt on those, those areas. And so what I want to do in this video is give you a little bit of a wider view about uh, pleasure tactic, tactics, techniques that you can start applying in your life that don't involve genital touch. Again, genital touch is great. You know, you probably have uh, some experience with that. I mean, most human beings do, right? But if you want to start expanding in other uh, sensual exploration uh, possibilities, then here is what you can do. The first one is soft massage throughout your body. So if you put some oil on your hands and you go exploring the sensations, putting attention to every part of your body that you're touching. You know, you go down, you go down to your legs, to your feet, you explore the sensations on your face, and you will notice that it becomes a whole powerful sensual experience or sensual, self-sensual ritual, self-touch ritual that, that can really open the perceptions about your, you know, who you are as a sensual being. So that's technique number one. Technique number two is to use self uh, trigger point activation. So I talked uh, again uh, about that in another video, how trigger points can really activate orgasmic bliss inside of you. So for instance, if I put my fingers on, um, on these trigger points right here, then I keep pressing and then I start breathing. <sighs> and uh, I do that for like five minutes. I will have a sense of energetic activation that is extremely powerful in my system. So these are the armoring techniques or energetic release techniques and it's a very powerful of activating to activate pleasure in, in your system. Um, another very powerful activation technique that you can use is simply shaking, shaking the body. So um, uh, this is a vital force technique, right? You are activating the, uh, put the energy in your body and you start adding sound when you are doing that. So I'm just going to show you a little bit how, how that works. Imagine that you do that naked because that enhances, you know, the sensual experience and the, the possibility. And you will notice that if you do that, it might become extremely sensual and extremely pleasurable. So you start shaking and making sounds and breathing out with that. Ah. So um, as soon as you start doing that, it triggers precisely a flow of energy in your system that is extremely sexual in the content. And uh, uh, if you keep on going for an extended period of time, you might reach states of uh, orgasmic bliss without actually any form of uh, physical touch, but simply the activation and the focus on the sexual activation by itself is extremely powerful. You notice um, that I'm using also the voice, the sound, so you enter into orgasmic breathing, which is another one of those self-pleasure practices that you can engage into. Uh, so the moment you start making orgasmic sounds, So first with the breathing. Uh, 
so you start activating your voice and the voice is really something that uh, connects you with uh, your sex center as well so those techniques are going to be um, to be again activating your sexual energy without you engaging in any form of physical uh, or of uh, genital touch another powerful self-pleasure technique is to use nature I'm not sure if you had that experience in your life of simply going to a nice place in the forest. There is this waterfall, there is this sensuality, this juiciness. You take off your clothes and you stay there in the fresh water for an hour playing in the waterfalls and being there bathed by the, the blissful fresh water that is you know, falling on your head and there is all this freshness and all this activation. Um, this by itself, the merging with the force of nature can be such a blissful orgasmic experience and it's just a matter of focusing on the presence and being really there observing and, and taking in all that energy. Another technique is uh, the breathing. So we already you know, touch on the sound, the shaking, now you can focus purely on the breathing and the breathing can be something that is extremely soft and gentle. So suppose that you are sexually aroused, that you are really turned on, and you start using that, you will notice that this breathing technique brings the sensations and the sexual energy all over your body. You're not focusing on the genitals, but expanding the orgasmic bliss all over your body. So that's a very powerful one to use. You can use also in terms of breathing something that becomes much more dynamic, like a fire breath. <sighs> So you see that depending on the way you breathe, you can make it totally non-sexual, like ah, 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 ah. That's totally, it's a bit more non-sexual, but then you can add it uh, or make sounds that become a bit more sexual in the content. Ah, 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 ah. You see that adding a little bit of sound is going to turn the technique into something that is much more erotic in the content as well. Another technique that you can use is simply in the movement, you know, simply moving side to side uh, and adding the breathing and playing some music and being in that space where you let like the waves of energy move in you. Imagine that you are like a, a Kundalini fire and you start using your, your arms in this form of sacred dance. It's a very powerful one. And then you can start using also the, the hips, you know, hip movements. As soon as you start rocking the hips, you are activating the, the sex area here, the sex center. You see that in, if I'm just, um, I don't know, moving, doing something which is martial art without the hip activation, but as soon as I start moving the hips, there is an erotic content to it. So those are what I call the vital sex techniques, which is basically activating your sexual energy. You see, as soon as the hips are moving, it's just like, it's natural, there is a, an activation of uh, sexual fire and it's a very powerful one. So the, the movement of the hips can be in circles, can be side to side, can be front, and you can also go on your, on your knees with your, your arms on the ground and, and keep on moving the hips. You have different positions that you can activate. All that is uh, recorded in other videos as well. So hip movements. And then you can use mantras. So mantras are secret formulas and words of power that are really going to activate um, uh, certain qualities. And we have mantras for sexual energy. For instance, the mantra Kama Yama. Kama for sex, Yama mastery, sexual mastery. And you can use that mantra as a form of meditation as well. Kama Yama, Kama Yama. Kamayama, Kamayama. You can raise your arms to the sky, close your eyes. Kamayama, 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 Kamayama. You can use the word Shiva Shakti for the, the play of female and uh, masculine energy, ideal archetypes of the male and female energy. Shiva Shakti Kamaya Shiva Shakti Kamaya So the way it works is 
that um, a mantra is an invocation of a certain quality. And in that case, we're invoking sexual energy and the play of male-female dynamics. So your mind, your subconscious mind is getting the signals. It says, okay, it's time to activate sexual energy because I'm calling for it, okay? So those are different techniques that you can, uh, that you can use. Again, soft massage, um, self-trigger point activation, shaking, merging with nature, breathing and sounding, uh, the orgasmic breath, uh, hip movements, and uh, mantras. There is much more. You can play with fantasies. You can, you know, activate all that. Another thing which is important is that you can combine soft genital touch with those pressure point techniques, for instance, or soft genital touch with a, a breathing technique or with an orgasmic uh, sounding technique. So you can combine those different techniques. For instance, I could use the pressure points and then breathe. <sighs> And start making more sounds, more orgasmic sounds, and all that is going to, you know, to uh, to trigger more and more pleasure and more and more sensuality in my system. You know, again, we are talking about here something that is taboo for some people. If what I'm saying here makes you uncomfortable in any way, uh, you know, that's all right. Uh, forgive me for taking you to your your edge, and uh, but something that is interesting to do is if you think that it makes you uncomfortable, think about why. What is it that makes you uncomfortable? What is it that triggers a sense of shame or guilt or discomfort, energetic discomfort around the topic of self-pleasure? Why is it? Ask yourself that question. I'm not going to answer it for you, but check it in. And uh, that might lead you to discover something important about yourself and uh, your sexual energy. <laughs> Sweet.